Well, welcome to DigiHow2. This is a tutorial on the Scannable app from Evernote. I'm going to show you the ins and outs of the app. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually, I'm in the settings screen. I'm just going to uh, show you the introduction. So I'm going to go in here and replay the introduction. It's got a nice little introduction worth watching when you open the app. Uh, beautiful little logo there. And again, it's going to replace a lot of functionality inside the basic Evernote app if you're taking pictures of things. So the first is you can scan paper. Uh, you can scan any kind of note, text document. Uh, receipt um, and then you can share them very easily I'm going to walk you through all the different ways you can do that as well as capture business cards again this is in the Evernote app but uh, they've made it even quicker inside the scannable app so the first thing I want to show you is uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit start scanning uh, what I want to show you under the settings right here is the first thing you want to set is the camera flash generally I think you want to keep that turned off but you can have it to be auto uh, and so that's where we're going to check that. The Evernote, the next option down here, is where you sign into your Evernote. And then what default notebook do you want it to go into? And then when you share it, because what you can do is you can take a picture of an item or scan it. And then you could send that as a text message. You can uh, add it to an appointment. All, all kinds of different things you could do. But do you want to always save that image to, to Evernote? It, it has that option right there. Uh, the next is if you want to connect people, connect with people and connect two people uh, in LinkedIn, you want to sign in on that ne next option. Uh, the calendars is interesting. I'm not going to open mine, but you can, well, actually I will. Here we go. Uh, you can connect your calendars so that uh, when you go to share a document, a scan, you could actually, let's say I have a meeting with you today, all right, at, at one o'clock, and I want to send you a document related to that meeting. What I can do is I can scan that item and then click uh, a meeting, it will pull up my calendar and it'll say, oh, I'm meeting with this person. Uh, and if I choose that event, it will, and, and you're assigned to that meeting, you and I have a shared meeting on my calendar, it will open up an email and attach that document and send it to you and me. So uh, that's why it integrates your, your, your calendar. So you can send documents to people who you have uh, a scheduled appointment with. Very, very cool uh, idea. Uh, knowledge base, legal, uh, you can replay the introduction and go to the Amazon or the uh, Evernote marketplace there. So uh, again, the settings, you want to focus on setting the camera flash. I leave it on auto and then calendars. Uh, uh, if you want to link specific calendars to show up inside of your app. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the functionality. One of the first things that you're going to notice when you go to the app, and I'm just going to go ahead and close it out and start again on the right side here near the bottom. I'm gonna click on the app. When it opens, right away it starts looking for a document. Okay, so let me close it, and then I'm gonna get over a document here, and uh, I'm gonna have it open and then scan right away. So I'm gonna have it open, and there we've got a book, and you can see it's looking for the document. I don't have very good light right now, so let's just do manual. I did a manual capture of the document. And so there it is. So I've got a manual capture of the document. I'm gonna tap it. And uh, once I've done that, uh, and, and generally it's very good at taking pictures ac actually of manually capturing them. I just had a pretty low light. But there's a document that it scanned. As you can see, I just tapped on it. And if I hadn't tapped on it, I could scan more, uh, uh, more documents uh, at the same time. I could go back and add more and more and more. So once you have captured it and you tap on it, you're going to go down here where it says scannable document. You can give it a name. Okay. So I'm just going to call this one power of habit because that's a page out of that book and hit done. So there's the name. The next thing you're going to do after you adjust the title is you can send it. Now this is pretty amazing. Uh, so we're going to hit the send button right here at the bottom. And here are our options. We can email it to someone. We could uh, send it to our Evernote. We could add it to our camera roll. We could message it to someone. Uh, we could export it uh, to a different service, and then there's more. So uh, the other is, if you look at the bottom there, share recent and meeting, yours won't have recent when you first open it, but recent is going to be things that you've done recently. I know, shocking, right? But if you're doing a lot of the same act act actions with your scans, then it will remember them there, which is awesome. And then the last, if you swipe again over to the left, you've got meetings. I don't have any meetings with other people scheduled today. But if I did, it would show one of those meetings and I could tap that meeting 
And then again, send that message or that scan to someone that I have a meeting with. So I'm just swiping left and right there. So let's see this more tab. I'm gonna click on that more. And you can see this is our normal, you know, sharing tool within iOS. Uh, and then if you wanted to message it to someone, click on message, and then you've got your messaging app. And then let's say I wanted to send this to my Evernote. Now, one of the functionalities that I wish it had is I wish I could tag this uh, or automatically set it so I could tag. I really hope they add that functionality. But as it is right now, you can simply save it to Evernote uh, by clicking there. Or if you want to switch your notebook, click there and it'll show your notebooks. You can choose which one to save it to. I'm going to cancel that for now. You can always go up here to the top left, go back up to your settings. And the top right uh, is um, a sort of a little ad for your scan snap. If you have a scan snap, you can control uh, um, you can tr control your scan snaps scanning. Uh, so you could put papers in there and hit that scan, hit this app and start your scan snap to actually start scanning the documents and control them inside of that app. Um, so that's the scannable app. Uh, curious how you're going to use it, uh, how you see yourself using it uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I, if it would tag my items and, um, uh, yeah, if it would tag my, my images, then I could use it for receipts right now. Uh, there's another app that I've used called F E snap that I would actually rather use my receipts because it automatically adds a tag and puts them in a folder. It's nowhere near as attractive, but the ability to remember what I did the last time to bring it up and have that tag ready to go. If they added that functionality, this would be a slam dunk app. Uh, but as of right now, it's a pretty great app. If you want to share an image with someone, send a message. Uh, I think it's actually uh, maybe even faster than the camera app on your iOS device. So that's a scannable app from Evernote.